And good afternoon, my fishy friends. This is Reaper from Behind the Scenes with OFR. What we got going today, you see it in front of you, is a tank. It's a 55-gallon tank given and donated to us by Big Rich, of course. Uh, we had a smaller one that we were keeping the koi, and he gave us the six koi, including the first Jack Fry. And we wanted to do a bigger, better thing. Some of you guys know we were looking at a 90, but it wouldn't fit into where we wanted it. Right now, we're in my wife's, um, it's her plant room, basically. You can see the Christmas uh, cactus doing just fine. And here's all around. There's a peace plant that is just huge, even blooming. That's going to get divided up, and a couple of them are going over to Big Rich as well. But here's what we got. Here's our buffet. The 90 gallon wouldn't fit, but this here 55 will fit perfect. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, my wife's going to move her uh, cacti and plants out into the other room. We're going to make room here. We're going to go ahead and get this cleaned. We got an hour or two of cleaning. Gave us a uh, canister, a 405. Uh, we went ahead, cleaned it, got the scrubbers uh, all done and everything. We'll get some new ones down the road. He obviously gave me bio balls, so all four cartridges down below have the bio balls in them already. And uh, we'll get this cleaned up, filled up, and we'll get the koi in. And you guys will finally get to see the shack fry koi that uh, Big Rich gave us. So stay tuned. Alrighty, people. Dawn is starting to move some of the plants back into another room. We have the laundry room. We're going to put them on this. Uh, it's an old thing we had. The tanks don't fit on here. It's not It's not strong enough, but all our plants can go here. And it's a nice window looking outside. So that's what she's doing, taking all that. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some water and everything and start getting this tank. Normally, I, <clears throat> I would take it into my tub and use it in there but uh, uh the tub is clogged in fact big rich knows that because he loaned me his 25 foot snake i just haven't had time to get to it yet <laughs> uh, so we're gonna have to do it by hand out here me and don we'll get that clean originally he wants me to get like a nice big old 150 or something set up in here maybe next year uh again this is temporarily uh temporary um uh, he also wants to to put in a pond next year so we'll see about that so we're going to get this cleared off we're going to get the tank going and get this cleaned and we'll be back in a little bit as you guys see my wife got all the plants out uh in fact the top and the light is sitting over there now and we got our thing and we got our towels and we get the rest of that uh gravel out of there and we're going to start cleaning on the tank so we'll start getting the tank con, uh, clean. As soon as it is, we'll get it up on the buffet and start uh, getting it assembled. I actually gave it the once around, <clears throat> thought I was recording, but the battery died. So I charged it up a little bit and put a battery pack in. Still needs uh, one more go around, still some uh, hard water spots and so forth. So I'm going to hit it one more time real quick and we'll get ready to get it up on top and then we'll take it from there. Alright, we're doing the final wipe down on it. We got the backing up. 
next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get the filter put together. And then, uh, like I said, it fits. I already found out it fits right behind on the windowsill in the back. So I'm not going to have to drill holes in my uh, uh, buffet over here. Didn't want to because, again, this is temporary only for winter, guys. Only for winter. So uh, she's doing that. While she's doing that, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll get this here put it back together. And I'll let Dawn take over and she'll record and I'll get this put back together. So let's see here. So you might as well turn that off. Alrighty, everybody. And welcome back. And this is Dawn's fish tank. And if you see right there, that is the shack fry. And that's the tank we're getting ready in the back because all of them were in here temporarily. And as you see, this is not a very big tank. It's like 45 or something like that. We had a 30 or a 35, but that tank leaked. And that was the problem. Two weeks ago, we ended up putting the koi in here and we had to get a bigger tank. That's why we got the 55 in the back and the koi are going in there. So we're going to go ahead and get the other... Uh, fry out of here and get ready to start getting the water into the other aquarium and get them transferred over ready as you see we got some water down there and there's also a bucket we're going to start filling the water and getting it in there and get the fish in so here we go Of course, it's going to be a little cloudy. Not bad, actually. But it's going to be so much nicer once it's all set up. So all this water came from the other tank that we've been removing for the last week or so. But they're going to be just fine in this tank. Okay, and there is our shack baby right there. Isn't he beautiful? Yes, he is. All righty. So we're going to fill the rest with tap water. I got to go ahead and uh, prime the pump yet and get it going. And hopefully you guys have a new home. All right, and we're back. We got most of the water in. We're going to need one more bucket, probably, of tap water. We're getting the plants in, so forth, so on. I'm going to plug in this uh, 405 canister filter, and then I got to sit there and prime it for a while. So we're going to get that going, get the rest of the water in. And the fish so far are happy as can be. All right, 
it's starting now. And it's strong. It's really strong. I've never had a canister filter. Never had boy. <laughs> starting to look better. Dawn's getting more water right now. Uh, of course, it's going to be a little dirty and everything else because we're just starting it up. Yeah, it, I'll do a rehit in a couple of days here when it clears up. Dawn's going to place her plants and all that kind of stuff. Now, I think I'll probably leave it at that tonight. I don't want to add that much tap water to it. Let that run its course because most of this is from the water changes. And then tomorrow, I can add some more. Yeah, well, let's get the top light all that out of here. Something's up with the light, so I'll talk to Rich about that. I do have one more, the one off the other. We'll bring that in and put it on just so we can see what it looks like as a finished product. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. And of course, again, it's going to be cloudy, but uh, it's good. they're going to have so much room in there. It's going to look so much nicer. There's the shack. Yeah. It's all happy. Yeah, there's the shack koi right there. He's beautiful. So we're just going to let it set for tonight because this is all the water from the water changes we've been doing. So they've already been acclimated and we're used to this water. We'll fill the rest up tomorrow with some tap. We're just going to let it settle overnight. Pump seems to be working awesome. Uh, we'll have to adjust it once we get more. And again, like I said, this is temporary. And uh, Big Rich wants me to get either like a 120 or 150 or what he really wants is a pond in the back. There goes the fur. No, no, that's no, that's not him. That's the other one. He's growing really nice. He's got a lot of nice black in him. But there's his brother. There's the fry, the shack All right. All right. Well, that's it from Reaper's House. And you know everybody, stay fishy, my friends.